standard size Spanish back roll. I suppose, right? It is a mm -hmm. pretty bird. No scales, right? I don't feel any scales. You don't feel the scales? I don't feel any scales. This, this you're not gonna bleed yeah. out. This is the uh, kidneys. Oh. All right, we'll give it a quick rinse. Okay, a little bit of pressure across the fish. Job bleeding. Yeah, out. nice. I mean, it's just clean color. Yeah. It did gush out for a while, so. Yeah. Wow, well, the the bones are so soft on this fish. Yeah, I think this is a pleasurable to fillet. Oh man, I gotta take a shot of that too. Beautiful, beautiful fillets. Plus, they don't use a flexible fillet knife. Jesus. What does it use? They use like a Deba. Oh, okay. Yeah. I feel like that's harder. It's, it's not harder if you're used to it because right. it doesn't flex. Right. So when they cut, just it's just straight. It, yeah. yeah, it's a clean cut, you know. But it can break through the bones. Yes, yeah. but mainly because it's a straight, and also they're only sharpened on one side. Right. So it just gives a very straight and clean cut. Right. So that's pretty good. Yeah. It's good for the soup. Mm, I don't know. No. And this, the fin bones will just clean up. So, No more. All right. And there's your two gorgeous boneless. Okay. Do they need to go into? They don't need to go into ice brine or anything. No, because no. it's clean. That's why we we gutted it. Oh. And, you know, okay, there's okay. no scales. There's no guts. Yeah. There's nothing. There's no smell whatsoever. That's great. So. You know, this So this, when do you so when a fish has scales and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, well you need to clean it. Yeah. You know, if there's scales and, and, and guts and yeah. all that shit, then you need to clean it. Right. You don't want to rinse the fillet in fresh water. Alright, so now we're just gonna do this. 
Mm -hmm. Put it in the fridge, make the glaze. This glaze before and, um, or some, fuck me. We've done this glaze before or some variation of it and it's miso is what gives it body and most of its saltiness. Mirin, dark soy, maple syrup or brown sugar or some kind of agave nectar, whatever sweetener you want. Um, a little bit of oil, this is just grapeseed oil. And for acid, we're gonna use lime. You, you can use some kind of vinegar too, like apple cider vinegar. But it's, it's, it's just a balance between salt, sweet, and sour. Of course, let's cut these limes. Limes are looking a little, a little sad. Those are from the fish tacos. Oh, mm -hmm. that's a while ago. The ones I made. Those look good. Yeah. Miso. Now, as for amount, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll put up some kind of ballpark figure. But it's the consistency you're looking for. A bit of mirin. With dark soy. And this is just adding layers of, you know, miso and dark soy, both very umami. And that makes it interesting. Dark soy is not very salty, so. Right, it's more for color. Yeah. The oil just gives everything a little bit of a sheen. That might be a little too much oil, but it's okay. Okay, just do a quarter of a lime first and then we'll taste. Okay, so see, this is still sort of a paste, pasty consistency, and that's what's gonna cling to the fish. You want to keep it that level. Right. If, if, if it gets much looser than this, then, you know, like it might not stick. I think it's got the consistency of A1 sauce. That's actually almost there in terms of sweetness. It's pretty sweet. Right? Mm -hmm. Do you think it needs even more? Maybe a tiny splash? It's a splash, I think, at most. You mean, even the dark soy is a little sweet. Then use a touch more acid. Yeah. I use a little bit more. Kind of like a ponzu sauce. Sort of. Yeah. I mean, all these Japanese sauces have similar profile. Right. right? It's like sweet, salty. Right. Just the basis of it. Yeah. Whether it's soy sauce base, miso base. Right. And there's always a little bit of acid just to lift it. I think what I'm going to do is lightly brush this with oil. Just lightly. So, a thin layer of glaze. Mm -hmm. And depending on how it goes, we might reglaze halfway through the roasting process. And how long is the roasting process? I'm not sure. I think. Nine minutes? No, it's not going to do that. Yeah. I think it's going to be like six minutes, six minutes, 500 degrees. And generally speaking with fish, especially thin fillets or small whole fish, you want the oven on blast. You want it as hot as possible. Why is that? It's just, it works better that, that way works. with fish. Oh, okay. You know, it's, fish, fish is not a low and slow kind of thing. Right. You, you, want... you know, you want to cook it quickly and that retains the most freshness it's tender it's juicy so all right that's a miso glaze and our oven okay by the way that's parchment paper so oven 500 and we're going to check it after three or four minutes maybe turn it Sounds good. And we want color on top. Mm -hmm. If we don't get color, we can put it under the broiler or maybe blowtorch it. Got it. Okay. Take a look. 
smell it. Nice. Ooh, smells nice. Woo. Yeah. You can smell that clay. You can smell the fish. Too. You can smell the fish. That's the thing. I'm gonna do a little bit more glaze. Turn it. I would say another two minutes and it's done. Done. Don't wanna overcook. Mm -hmm. It smells so good, dude. Now you wanna, you know, you wanna lay it on. And then now we're just gonna turn it 180 degrees. Back in the oven. Two minutes. That's great. Oh man. Yep. Okay, so total it, six minutes. Let it rest. Yeah. But I wanna get it off. So it doesn't keep yeah, cooking. So it doesn't keep cooking. Yeah. Find a plate. So good, dude. Now, I actually want a little bit darker color, mm -hmm. but we're not gonna cook it anymore. So, right. just give me a second to set this up. And we're gonna use. A little butane. some flavor from that but you're not really putting it back in the oven oh dude that looks gorgeous you know you're not really cooking it anymore and that's it should I squeeze a little in why mm, it's up to you yeah you can do that just a little. I think I've been waiting all day for this, man. It's been a long day. Yeah, it's been a long day, all right. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh. The skin looks all right, too. We'll see if I cooked it just right. Is that good? Get out of here. <laughs> Just get the F out. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's Just get funny. out of here. Dude, what? What? You know, I've never had Spanish mackerel. This, this is probably the best like miso glaze. Are there any bones? No bones. Oh, that's a good shot right there. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, right? This fish is delicious. Isn't it? It's so savory. Right? Mm -hmm. It's like, it's such a meaty, buttery fish. Buttery fish, that's what it is. Wow. Yeah. No wonder people, you know, Chris is saying how it's like the best fish he, he's ever had. Yeah. I might have to agree other than the black sea bass. Yeah, black sea bass is hard to beat, but mm -hmm. this is I'll take it. This is a this is a global warming fish. Global warming you fish, know, all right? We might be winners. <laughs> Next up cobia. <laughs>